Hi, Colin here. Today, I want to tell you about the process behind my digital painting, Initiation. So this painting started out a little bit differently from my usual process. Um, I actually had a sketch of a character worked out for a few months beforehand, but I just wasn't sure what kind of situation I wanted to place her in. Um, I had an idea for this kind of assassin, rogue type of character with a, with a knife. Um, and um, I came across finally the idea of putting her into a zombie infested temple. Um, and she is an acolyte of a religious order. And as part of an initiation rite, um, she is sent into this temple to cleanse it of the undead. Um, now, while this story is um, a bit long-winded and it probably you're not going to get all those details from my one single image, it does really help me to contextualize um, what I'm trying to achieve with this illustration and um, the elements that have to be present. So once I figured out she was in a, uh, a zombie-infested temple, it required, okay, now there needs to be zombies and there needs to be some kind of architecture. So you can see I'm kind of working all those rough details in at this stage. Um, something else I decided with this character was I wanted her to be holding a uh, glowing knife that's um, f uh, wreathed in flame. So that also helped inform my lighting scheme. Um, I had a kind of this f uh, flame in the front for the knife and then also some harsh kind of horror lighting from the right. Um, and that actually really helped me make some decisions as to how to light the character um, and how to portray her. So you can see here, I'm really working in her facial expression and, um, and getting in all those details. Next up, um, I start adding in her magic flaming knife. Uh, this was really fun to paint. I, uh, I really enjoy magic weapons. Um, and you can see here, I used a barbecue lighter and a prop sword to get that lighting effect just right. Um, in fantasy, you end up doing whatever you can to get the image to look as realistic and compelling as possible. And if I need to break out, uh, some actual fire, I will do so. And uh, that really helped give me an idea of just how the flames would react to a, um, a metal object and how they would reflect and refract light around it. Um, so uh, yeah, I just have so much fun working on little details like that. Uh, next up, of course, are the hands, which uh, as I always say, you really can't work on hands enough. Um, they are always hard and um, they are always rewarding when you get them right. Here, I really want to make sure that she had these kind of elegant but deft looking fingers. Like she, um, you, uh, you, I, I wanted her to look at the same feminine, but also at the same time, like she knew what she was doing when she was pulling that dagger out. Um, and so then I moved on there to other details of the main character, such as costume. Um, my model was wearing just a simple bathrobe, but it had these awesome um, fluted sleeves that looked just really cool. And so I was really excited to paint those. Um, diving into these kind of details is so much fun for me. It makes me feel like um, I'm really transporting to another another place in another time period. Um, even if it's just, you know, it's just a contemporary bathrobe, but by, um, by giving it context of this character in the scene, it just makes it feel more medieval and more like in the fantasy world. Um, and so you can see here I'm putting in other details of the garments and um, and just kind of focusing in on this character to make her look as uh, like time worn and and like she's seen a few battles already. Like I wanted to make it look like she, this is maybe the last level of the dungeon, and so she's already faced off against a few undead, and she's like, oh man, just a few more, and I'm gonna pass this test. So I wanted her belt to look old and weathered. I wanted her her kind of leather jerkin to have stains and and to be rugged and and beat up. Um, and that, I think, makes for a much more interesting character. You can see here, I've started to work in the zombies, and um, although they're secondary characters, they're still very important to the story that's happening in the scene. Um, one challenge I had to deal with was how to portray that it's clearly a zombie without showing him from the front. So my solution for this was to have him clutching a human skull. It's pretty easy to tell that someone's not normal if they're holding a skull and shambling around in the dark, so that was a pretty uh, quick and simple way for me to telegraph that and I had a lot of fun here just kind of getting in on his all his grisly details and his hulking shambling form um, and uh, after I put him in I also added some zombie buddies and worked in some architectural details of the of the temple 
Um, and uh, also adding things like bones and mist and uh, just overall a sense of atmosphere to create this, this sense of dread. I think a really important thing about a piece like this is, is getting the mood right. I want our heroine to seem like she may be on her last legs here, that she may not make it out. So uh, as I add final touches here, I'm really just going for a scene that inspires fear, but also suspense and drama. And that's the final for Initiation. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.